Kara, thanks so much. We will check back here uh, in just a little bit throughout the course of the show. An update now on a fire that damaged a Hannibal home last night. Firefighters say someone living in the home at 409 Olive Street was working on a an engine in the basement to a moped and they accidentally started the fire from there. Yeah, with several fires already this year, firefighters say it's important to make sure your family is safe. And WGM's Frank Healy joins us live in Hannibal tonight with more on this part of the story. Frank. Yes, Don Alexandro, you can see behind me here some of the damage that that fire left behind and firefighters say when they got in there, they noticed there was a problem. The fire alarms or the smoke alarms for that matter weren't working and they say if this fire had happened a few hours later, that could have been very dangerous. I could feel the heat coming from the window. Margaret Stum says her family lives right next to where the fire happened. She says they're still smelling smoke in their house as well. We're worried about the people next door as well. We were hoping that they all got out okay, and we fortunately heard that they did, and we're thankful, and uh, we said a prayer for them. And Hannibal firefighters say this is a good example why you should double check your smoke detectors and keep safety in mind as we move into winter. The occupants made it out okay, uh, but had this been in the middle of the night when everyone is uh, sleeping, uh, the, uh, the outcome may have been a little different, and uh, that really stresses the importance as we're getting ready to go into the uh, cooler time of the year. Mark Kimker with Hannibal Fire says that's why they say if you didn't check your smoke alarm when the time changed last weekend, you should now. While you're checking that, he adds you should also get your furnace or fireplace checked and be careful when using space heaters. Don't have anything around your space heater within three foot of it, like uh, clothing and like blankets and things like that. And also, turn off your space heater when you go to sleep. For Stum, however, she already knows her smoke alarms are working. I had to disable one of them last night, though, because the alarm was going off. Kimker says if you discover that your smoke alarm isn't working or if you just don't have one, you can contact your local fire department or the American Red Cross and potentially get one for free. Live here in Hannibal, Frank Healy, WGEM News. Frank, thank you. Another safety tip from Hannibal Fire officials is now is also a good time to make sure your family has an evacuation plan and a meeting place in case there is a fire at your home. That is a good idea. That's not the only fire 